Baby. We don't die, we multiply. Can't spell ISO without that I. That last intro got copyright, but we back, so like and subscribe. Just vibe to the guy that ain't that that C to the TOA. If you wondering where I've been, I came back just to let you know. Hey, hey. YouTube, how y'all doing, man? It's your boy Steez the God Sensei Steez back at it again with another dribble tutorial. This is gonna be a special one, y'all. I just woke up, but I'm up early here to give y'all that content. I've been trying to be consistent. I just dropped a basic dribble tutorial last video. Go watch that one if you haven't yet before you watch this because it's important to get the essentials. But finally, y'all, the glitchy advanced dribble tutorial. I should have dropped this a long time ago. Don't worry. Next gen, my timing will be a lot better. I've been focusing on the wrong stuff. I'm starting to, you know, just figure out the right things to do as a YouTuber. See, this 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 current gen is all trial and error. I'm learning how to be consistent. I'm knowing when to drop videos, the little windows to drop videos. So I'm gonna do a lot better on that on next gen. But yeah, y'all, let's get into it. We already know what to do. You see the controllers. Like, subscribe, turn them noties on. I'm gonna be teaching y'all. First of all, let me go through the moves. You already know the fumble cancel. One of the most glitchiest, glitchiest moves in the game. Shout out to BD and Cool Burns for this move. This is one of the just you, you, it's an essential. It's 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 actually pretty symbolic because they put the fumble in the game to stop us from from doing the OD moves. And us dribblers, we're so genius. We went and turned that into a move in itself. You need this move if you want to be glitchy. The fumble cancel Houdini, whatever you want to call it. Also, what I will be teaching y'all, park size up cancels. Now, this one is really tricky because of all the changes they've done to park handles, how you have to have Hall of Fame and all that. So I'll probably be teaching this one last. So stay tuned for the end of the video for this one because this one's not available for all. But if you do have it, it'll definitely separate you and put you in a category of your own as one of the most glitchiest dribblers in the game. And also... I'm going to be teaching y'all one of the most essential, the glitchy spins, the, 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 the fake momentum spin through the legs. It's just a good way to start most combos now, you know, this year. I got to go through that. And of course, I got y'all with the double crossover into the backwards moving size up. This is a secret one that I've been keeping a secret that I've, I've pretty much, I've, I'm, I'm the only one who's really I've seen doing this. So I'm here to give that to y'all. So stay tuned. We got a banger incoming. You see the controllers, but let's get right into it already. Shout out to the homies Pizza Lover 900 and She Loves Ease for just staring at me, you know, during the vid. That's how you get a shout out. You too. She, uh, I, I ain't shouting out your name. But look, all right, <clears throat> let's get into it, y'all. You already know what you need to do. You need to have at least 80 ball handle. I'm sorry. I will be coming out probably with the 80 ball handler or lower dribble tutorial in the future for sure so you know turn them subs on for them lower than that but controller settings just want to go to absolute real quick of course you know that's how i could teach y'all the best so i could just make sure we're all on the same page and going into the dribble animations like i said usually i make y'all watch a whole entire vid to do this but you know it's towards the end of the year and i just want to go ahead and get it over with so Kyrie Irving dribble style pro 2 moving crossover i'm gonna just go through the ones that you for sure need i would for sure go on with moving crossover pro 2 you're definitely gonna need pro 4 spin and honestly size up escape package pro 5 those are the three essentials. See, if you if you don't have the same other oh, and Pro Three behind the back for sure, or Pro Five, but yeah, if you have something different, but it's not the size up, the behind the back, the spin or the crossover, you should be fine, people. And yeah, that's pretty much the six. Let's get into the dribble tutorial. Joining the court right now, the hummies left. It's all good. Into the vid, we go. I like this beat. 
Y'all, y'all mess with this me? I, I think it's real serene, you know? Got a nice, cool, chill vibe to it. But yeah, as you get to the controller, like I said, or get to the court, I should say. <laughs> still kind of early, still drinking my coffee. But anywho, you're going to want to go ahead and invite somebody, a homie, a friend, a computer, pretty much. And who other than LeBron James? But now nah, LeBron James probably going to clam me. So, now, nah, matter of fact, LeBron, bro, you part of this bitch, G. So, we go ahead and invite LeBron. Should be popping around that corner in about three, two, one. LBJ, what's good, fam? LBJ. LBJ. There you go. <laughs> See you a little late, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I think it's Taco Tuesday anyways, ain't it? <laughs> Boy had the tacos in him. Just straight to work, G. That's how it is. Yeah, you forgot the ball, my guy. <laughs> but nah, anywho. Um, this is a good way to get your personal workout. To get your this just the best way to just practice dribble moves right here. You want to invite an AI or LeBron James, and then you want to go to personal workout. Put yourself on the left. Put him on the right, and then boom. Hey, don't be making me look crazy, LeBron. Like, come on, man. It's just, you know, I'm trying to make a vid here. You feel me? <laughs> We're going to guard me from full court. Yo. Oh, oh. No, I'm playing. All right. So, for the fumble cancel, people, you want to get into a fumble animation. I'm just going to go ahead and teach you the most easiest one that I know. It's the half spin one. So, to do a half spin, obviously, you take your right stick. If the ball's in your right hand, if the ball's in the left hand, it's still the right stick, but you're just going to go the other way. But yeah, if the ball's in your right hand, you want to go from 3 o'clock to 12 o'clock to do your half spins. Just want to learn that. So go ahead and practice that, you know. If the ball's in your left hand, it would be the opposite, which would be 9 to 12 o'clock, clockwise. You see what I'm saying? So get your half spins right. And once you get your half spins right, you want to do the half spin and then do another. Just do any type of rotation uh, immediately after the half spin with the right stick so you should get this you see i picked up the dribble everybody wonders like wow you see every time i do it i pick up the dribble on the fumble animation stizo i pick up the dribble well here's what some geniuses found out that if you hold l2 the whole time which is you know left trigger while you're doing these spins so you're going to do the half spin and do the other spin while holding l2 if you let go watch pick up the dribble <laughs> if you let go so, so 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 the key is to do the half spin and then the other spin while holding l2 and then let go towards the end of the animation of the fumble and you will pick up the ball y'all and you gotta kind of guide it with the left stick as well and the way i like to guide it with the left stick is i kind of like to hold to the side the opposite side so look all together and that kind of just puts you backwards and once you're backwards like that, I want you to just keep practicing until you can just stay backwards because that's kind of the key. So, you see, if you could just do that little that little spin right there. So, half spin, hold L2, let go right there. And then you see how it just keeps you backwards? You're going to want to be backwards because while you're backwards, you're just going to want to do a crossover behind the back, which is up down. So, watch this. And it's not really down. It's more like diagonal down. So while you're backwards, you know, you just want to practice a little fumble escape until you just keep the ball. And while you're backwards like that, after let going of L2, you want to hold down with the left stick, kind of diagonal is down left, and then press up with the right stick and diagonal down right with the left stick. And if you do it all together, kind of messed up right there. It's okay. This is practice, people. It will look like that if you mess up. It's a very advanced move. Even I mess up. But there you go. And that's how you can get, you know, glitchy with the with the <laughs> with the fumble cancel. You see? And that's what we do. Now I know what you're wondering. Damn, Steve, what the heck did you do at the end of that fumble cancel? Like how do I keep it going like that? What did you just do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and teach y'all that move since y'all get the fumble cancel down. What you want to do is, and this is called the double crossover, and after double crossovers, you are allowed to cancel. See, the last cancel last year was the crossover behind the back. You were able to cancel out of that. But this year, as you can see, watch this. It's the 
double crossover and then it lets you cancel and there's multiple things you could do to cancel but i will be teaching y'all a move that no one ever does so this is some exclusive content it's a backwards moving size up out of the double crossover cancel so all you want to know how to do with this move is probably just i'm, I'm gonna teach it to y'all like this you want to run forward do a behind the back which is diagonal down kind of like that in that motion so y'all get that down you know just run forward behind the back boom now after you do the behind the back you want to do a double crossover and to do a double crossover you want to press up with the right stick and then right with the right stick if the ball's in your left hand so boom you see that get that down people run forward boom and pro 2 it'll look like that so diagonal down upright and you'll get that perfect you know crossover the crossovers are weird this year it's it's up instead of like left right so you know you want to get that down and then after you see the ball go from the left hand back to the right hand you want to hold up with the right stick and then down with the left stick and it will look like this people you see how it brings you backwards it's just a quick cancel that's what you want to get it's the new thing i think and i kind of messed up right there but i'm gonna do it again you see how it brings you back it's almost like the kobe escape from like 2k16 you could just see why this is like a vital move people it just brings you back while they think you're going forward and a lot of people they like to cancel out with probably that right there there's multiple things you can cancel out of you see but you see how he kind of guarded that a little better but just just know that the double crossovers you can cancel it out with a momentum behind the back which everybody should know how to momentum by now if you watch my basic tutorial momentum curry or the backwards that you see what i'm saying so go forward again that's just a good way to just catch them you know just just to, just to catch him because i think even if you leave it you know he's probably gonna bump into him but i don't know just like the the double crossover cancels are just really important this year like i said if you want to put all the moves together let's see if we can put them together right here and that's just a kill this is a advanced dribble tutorial if this doesn't help y'all please this is the key i got y'all I'm getting excited now because because if you just learned that right now, you looking glitchy right now. Let me get a like, subscribe. Come on, people. We out here. We are out here. Pay attention. Go back. Put the vid in slow motion. Do what you got to do. Steezo. The God, we here. Oh, that hyped me up. Let's go. All right, let me calm down because I, I told y'all, like, just teaching y'all gets me excited. Dribbling gets me excited. Just the fact that we could be learning stuff and... You know, I could reciprocate what just creative people and myself have learned and just could just pass down to others. It's a beautiful thing. It's how culture is created. I just love it, bro. It's, it's, it's pretty much why I do what I do in the first place, you know. And, um, oh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, the next move, the glitchy dribble, uh, just the spin, I guess. This spin is kind of important. Like I said, it's, it's like a fake momentum. So this one is kind of tough, y'all. Y'all got to bear with me. Make sure y'all practice those first two moves because now it's kind of getting tough. These next two moves is going to be really, really advanced. But yeah, um, a fake momentum. If everybody knows how to momentum, I'm going to just go through a balls in my right hand. I'm going to press left, go to the left with the right stick and left with the left stick a little after. And it should, you see, that's how you do a momentum, right? Like that. Now to do a fake momentum, you got to kind of do the crossover do the momentum except kind of hold up like up with the left stick right after not even up like a diagonal up so it should look like that you see what i'm saying it's like you do a momentum but you kind of cancel it with the left stick so do you practice your momentums get those down you know and then once you get your momentums down just think of just doing a momentum but like exactly after you do the momentum up with the with the with the left stick like a diagonal right up towards the ball you see what i'm saying just to cancel it so it should look like that and it kind of looks like a little you know uh whatever sham god type stuff it's not it's just a 
momentum cancel and after this cancel you will be able to spin back so at, you want to do the momentum cancel get these down right here and then as soon as he does the little animation you just want to do a spin back which is from i want to say three o'clock if the ball's in your right hand three o'clock to six o'clock so here we go you see just practice that first you just want to go step by step so fake momentum and see i messed up see i didn't do the up you know quick enough so let's try it again fake momentum and yeah, you want to spin spin it with your right stick, of course, and then kind of guide it with your left stick. That's about it. See, I'm guiding it backwards with my left stick so he doesn't do any other type of, you know, ballerina spin or anything like that. Because, look, if you hold down, he does that. But if you kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's just all in one motion. So fake momentum, do the little sham guy looking animation, spin it from three o'clock to six o'clock with the right stick and guide it with your left stick while holding like kind of diagonal ish down. And if it's too late, it'll look like that. It's kind of tough, I ain't gonna lie. This is why I told you it's in advance. I don't really do this move too much, but hold on. Boom, boom, you see what I'm saying? And you don't have to hold R2, but I like holding R2. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm pretty sure you could do whatever you want. Yeah, so you don't have to hold R2. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that right there. And it's still more. That's why this move is tough. Now, see, after you're backwards, while doing, once you get to the spin part every time, you could just, and it's so tough. I'm not going to lie. And if this move is too close to the opponent, it'll also mess up. So, but once you get that part down, this is where it gets tough. You're going to want to hold, once you're backwards on the spin, you're going to want to hold the left stick diagonal upright to get the ball to go through the dude's leg. So it kind of looks like, hold on. And see, it, you got to hold R2 with it. You know, I'm, I'm breaking it down as we go. So boom, boom. You see that? That is a move that a lot of people end up doing. So again, Get your move down. Hold up. Boom. Boom. You see? And you're probably thinking, Steezo, what's so great about this move? Well, hold on. Get you right into the double cross, as you can see. You see what I'm saying? That's just a way to do the glitchy spin. It's a it's it's kind of like the replacement of the momentum spin since they took it out the game. This is what a lot of people start their combos with. You know? And you don't even need to do like you see what I'm saying? Boom. Boom boom you could just combine all the moves together i know this is one was a little bit sloppy but as you can see fake momentum spin fake momentum spin through the legs and you know it's, it's just really it's a really odd move i'm not gonna lie boom you see what i'm saying the advanced ones aren't gonna go every time but you know what i'm saying that's what that's pretty much what you want to do there's a lot you could do with it too you could you know, go into the crossover behind the backs. It's just a move to get you backwards, people. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different moves with this little glitchy spin. It's very important just to have in your arsenal. You see how hard it is. You see me messing up on it, but you get the gist of it. Fake momentum, spin from three o'clock to six o'clock with your right stick, guided with your left stick, hold r2 once you're backwards and then diagonal up with the left stick i know it sounds complicated but explaining it always sounds more complicated than when you actually get into the court and actually try the moves you see what i'm saying so look just like that and you could do multiple things you could do it into the double crossover you can even do another spin with it i'm pretty sure hold on if you just spin it you see you could just keep it and just, you know just just mess around with it this is the new momentum spin you know this is the move that you definitely can use to get into your combos and that is something that you really essentially need and i'm sorry if i butchered it it's kind of tough just but i got it now i think i got it now and yeah practice that the glitchy spin all right now to the final one which is also super difficult. I might mess up on this. See, dribblers are not perfect, y'all. <laughs> we are not perfect. We mess up too. We are human. You feel me? Even though I am the god of AIDS. But anywho, the... Well, let me go ahead and show y'all what y'all gonna need for this. Like I said, 
I don't know why Mike Wang messes with this so much. They used to be so perfect. They're not even perfect anymore. But you're going to need tight handles, Hall of Fame, to be able to do L3 park handles. Okay, now that you got that on, and I don't expect everybody to really care about this part of the vid, but if you want to just separate yourself, like I said, you, 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 you kind of want to get into them, but they're kind of dumb, I'm not going to lie. They used to be so good, and the problem with these park handles is Mike Wang with the new patch put five different park handle animations on one button. Mike Wang, I know you watch my videos. I'm finally here to explain. Putting five different animations on one button might be the dumbest thing you could ever do in any video game. Like, there's no other video game. Well, look, I'm pressing L3 every time. Look, people, it's giving me a whoopty. Now, I'm going to keep pressing L3. Now, it's giving me the roll. Now, I'm going to press L3 again. And it's giving me the whoopty again. And then I'm press L3 again. Now it's giving me this weird cross. You see how that's stupid? How am I supposed to really combo up when I have five different inputs on one button? Mike Wang, whoever's idea was this, should be fired because it was perfect before. Before it was only two. Now there's five different animations on one button? Like, it's, it's just so RNG now, and it's so hard to combo with it. But here I am to teach y'all. Y'all remember the little half spin cancel where you got to hold L2, and it makes you just be able to pick up the ball? Well, that's the same thing with the park handles. But the problem is you have to get lucky and make sure that you get... Let's see how long this takes. That one right there. I got it first go. Let's go. <laughs> now, go ahead and rewind the vid if you want. Because, look, when you get the roll on the floor, when you, the ball's in your left hand, you press L3. You need to hold L2. And as soon as he starts to roll on the floor, you need to hold up with the left stick and do a, a moving behind the back, which is diagonal with the with the right stick. Diagonal down left with the, with the right stick, as you can see. And let's see if I can get it again. Watch the controller. I'm sorry if it takes a minute. And that was not it. I'm going to get to that one soon. Right there. You see? And that's pretty much how you cancel out of the rolling on the floor one. You see how hard that is to just... You, you see how random it is, though? That's why when you see people bring out the park moves and they start getting glitchy with it, you got to give them some respect. Because this move is just so random. Because the devs made it that way. It's just so dumb. You hear my frustration. And it's actually passion. Because I'm, like, uh, like I'm one of the few other YouTubers who were able to just... You know, I saw Nick. I, I seen him messing with this. Shout out to him, bro. It's just sad how they ruined our stuff. And that's another one. That one, you kind of just let... The, when you get that good spin right there, notice that one. You kind of just let that one flow and you just do a crossover behind the back out of it. Let's see if I can get it. See, I gotta just... There we go. Boom. And that one's pretty self-explanatory. The whole key to the park handle cancels, along with any cancel, is you need to just hold L2. So you go, you do the park handle, which is L3, you hold L2 at the same time, and then you let go of L2 when it's time for you to cancel, and he will cancel. And then when you're at the right spot, you can do a crossover behind the back, you can do a behind the back. On that one, you let that one flow until it gets to the other side, then you press up and diagonal down. Let's see if I can get to it. Let's see how long this takes. Look at it. He's doing just all the most random ones. And then, of course, when you see that one. <laughs> Mike, bruh, please revert park handles in the future. I don't want it to be luck every time just to get the right one that I want to do. But y'all pretty much get the gist of it. Let's see if I can get to it and see how long it takes. Like, it shouldn't be five different animations on one. And here we are. And that's what I wanted to show y'all right there. It brings you backwards. And then you probably just do another behind the back out of it. And then, you know, it looks it looks just good. And that's pretty much wraps it up for the advanced dribble tutorial. I hope y'all learned something. I hope y'all enjoyed it, whether you learned something or not. I hope, you know, just... Like the video, subscribe, turn the noties on. Steezo to God, I love y'all, man. I'm, I promise next gen I'm going to be a lot more just on time with these tutorials. I'm sorry it took so long. But we're here. And I got more vids coming. Like I said, I'm, I'm being a lot more consistent. It's funny how, like, 
the more consistent you are actually just it's a benefit all around <laughs> i i wouldn't trade it for the world i don't know why i used to just drop like one vid every week of one vid every that's just not that's not it the consistency is always better you know you're just more there for your fans i feel more in tune i talk to y'all way more it's just way 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 better shout out to lamar for being part of this video for winning the championship you know what it is but anywho bro like the vid turn them noties on got more vids coming for y'all some funny vids some live cons i got y'all more tutorials too if you want go ahead and ask me if, if there's any move that you still want to learn there's some more glitchy stuff in the game you know that we could probably go over but um yeah go watch the basic dribble tutorial if you haven't i love y'all it's these are the god peace I live in a constant state of fear and misery Do you miss me anymore? <laughs> and I don't even notice when it hurts anymore, anymore